friends i will show you the derivation for maxwell's induction bridge firstly why would we use this bridge we use this bridge because it measures an inductance by comparison with the variable standard inductance variable now let's make the circuit diagram galvan let's name it as a b c d this would be r1 l1 this would be r3 this would be r4 these are variable resistance and inductances this would be r2 this is would be l2 r2 where r1 l1 are the unknown resistance and inductance respectively R3 R4 are non inductive resistance L2 and big R2 are the variable inductance and resistance and small R2 is the variable resistance with series with L2 now let's find the impedances of each arm that is AB vc cd and da okay firstly the voltage flow between ab would be e1 similarly vc would be e3 dc would be e4 and AC, ad would be e2 now we will find the impedances z1 would be r1 plus j omega l1 where r1 is for the non inductive resistances and j omega l1 is for the inductance where omega is the frequency factor and j is the imaginary part for l1 similarly z2 would be r2 plus r2 plus j omega l2 r2 is the non inductive resistance small r2 is connected in series with l2 that's why we are adding r2 and j omega l2 is for the inductance variable inductance z3 would remain r3 itself similarly z4 would remain r4 now balancing the equation we get z1 z4 is equals to z2 z3 that is I'm putting the values of z1 z2 in this equation r1 plus j omega l1 r4 is equals to r3 r2 plus small r2 plus j omega l2 now multiplying 
and simplifying the equations R1 R4 plus R4 J omega L1 is equals to R3 R2 plus R3 small r2 plus R3 J omega L2 we can also write it as R1 plus R4 plus R4 J omega L1 is equals to R3 R2 plus small r2 plus R3 J omega L2 now equating the real terms we would get R1 R4 equals to R3 R2 plus small r2 from which we can get the unknown resistance R1 that is R1 is equals to R3 by R4 into R2 plus small r2 similarly by equating the complex terms complex terms are those which contains the function j that is j omega l1 r4 is equals to r3 j omega l2 j omega and j omega would get cancelled therefore unknown inductance l1 would be equal to r3 l2 divided by r4 now to find q factor which is omega l1 by r1 equals to r3 l2 divided by r4 is l1 whole divided by r1 r3 r2 plus small r2 divided by r4 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 it cancels r3 r3 get cancelled therefore omega l2 divided by r2 plus small r2 would be our q factor thanks for watching